today we are going to talk about uh, how to make your life easier um, as a, as an SAP end user whether you have been working with SAP for like 20 years 30 years or you are starting your SAP career there's some hidden stuffs that you can use for SAP and that will help your life uh, a lot okay so today we are going to talk about how to create your own personal list okay so you might say what is that so first i'm just going to go to a place so suppose they're going to go to check vendors okay suppose fpl one so lots of people who are uh, dealing with uh, uh, vendor payments and customer payments and other stuff what we are going to do here so lots of times we have a list of vendors that we want to pick okay so what generally what happens all those vendors are suppose let's let's do one thing okay first i'll run it via first i'll run it while open okay and i'll get some vendors out of here okay so suppose so this is one vendor this is one vendor and suppose uh, hmm, i want to see some vendors that has some good uh, okay yeah let's see uh, probably i'll try to find some company code that has more uh, data okay this is good okay so what we what we are going to do is suppose this is uh, this is my list okay and uh, so generally what happens is i'm just telling you the scenario what generally happens for everyone okay so we go to i'll just create so everyone um has this excel so they keep it in an excel and what they do is they, they, they copy this or they keep the vendor name or something so i just control v okay this is the one that that generally people works on okay so they go here they update this sheet okay let's go down and we'll probably do another so we'll do five okay so so suppose i am responsible for checking all the payment for a but for all the for for this vendor and uh, for this company course, okay now what happens is i have this list in an excel so generally what's the trend is uh, the trend is you go to fbl one n okay and you go here and here you you open your excel okay I go and open the Excel and then I try to put all this here and then I try to find the pin so so this is the way most of you everyone is working okay so now we'll show you something where you don't probably need to do this so first what we can do is so this here what you have to do first you can do is why you can just create a variant okay so first thing is you can create a variant so we just put test and we create test okay so this is my variant so every time i go to fbl1 and okay i'll just create the variant i'll just select the variant and here it's my list okay this is one way but sometimes what happens is you want you don't want to see all the entries you want to see some entries and you want to see all this vendor list also at the place where you create a purchase order or you want to see the vendor details in 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 some transaction you want to see through that that also so how we can get that so there's a very easy way every transaction code every every search help has this so what you will be doing is what i'll do i'll go here vendor general data okay and here i'll put here so first thing i'll do is it's one time you have to just do it okay so i think you can do control c and probably i think i can do more yes here so if you see mm, i have four entries okay i can do control c here like we control v so, and i think i have to do paste one by one that's the problem i have so uh, so 
paste it here one by one okay. and this is one time okay you know you don't need to do all the time and I'll show you how how much beneficial you will get through doing this okay so you just put this uh, go to its this place and I'll populate this okay and here and if I if I need one so more I'll put just this Excel this and this vendor number okay and now I'll just click this and I'll click all of this and I have all this list so what I'm going to do I'll see I the 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 line highlighted is here you click on this insert 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 and that's it so now what what now basically is done you'll say what just happened so what will happen is whenever you click on this you have this list already created so now here you suppose want to see the payment here you can just go here and execute you see this paint so since so this let me show you i think we were already in the variant so if i go to fpl one and suppose i want to see the payment and suppose here i want to see this payments okay i see if i clicked on here i have my personal list already created so you don't need to maintain any excel or something okay i have already created my personal list and i execute and voila i get i get it. now uh, so this is only for one transaction now imagine i open uh, another transaction suppose is me 23 okay so when i go to me 23m okay and uh, suppose and here also i click i have the same list that i created now if i go to suppose xk03 and i click here voila i have it here also so this is very useful so i just showed what you can do in fpl 1n and these things you can do it for everything you can think of very important lots the very useful uses is to just to uh, create for vendor customer material then uh, then users users is very useful because lots of time what happens in if you have workflows and especially if you have open text related workflows uh, you might want to send stuff to a particular person but every time you have to find that person's name and trust me the name always changes because they especially in countries like us and other places they name some they call they put their name something and it's actually something else so basically uh, you don't have a real conversion program table that does that so lots of times it's like robert is called bob so if someone is bob and if someone comes from a uh, from a different country he will start to look for with bob but then he will not get it. it's robert so once you get the user's id so i'll just show you so I, if i go to se01d any place i am saying any place which you have this this thing you can add so suppose i put student um zero one two three and I can create this and I'll just click on this. And then I have it. Now I'll do for another one. Suppose when I click on this, if you see, this is the student. Now, now you might say, I now uh, I don't want this person in the he, this thing. You can always click on this, okay? And uh, or you can click display all values or whatever. And you can delete it from the personal list. The moment you do that, you insert it and you know now it shows like this so this is very useful and uh, you don't have to maintain your excel and all those things it, you can maintain your excel but you know just it will add so much uh, value for you because i'm just giving an example imagine i do the same thing fpl1 and i used to what i used to do you used to go there he used to go first open the excel copy all this name okay so it's like at least it will save you 15 20 clicks that's a lot 
per day if you think and uh, every time you go to fbl 1 n and you do this and you can do it for fbl 5 n also just just let me show the fbl 5 n portion because i don't want to um uh, screw up the uh, my my sd friends okay so suppose i want to see suppose company customers so you have all these accounts you see uh, so so different accounts we have so what we can do is uh, we can select all okay oh, let me see one thing uh, yes so we have this customer so we'll pick uh, suppose thousand six eight eleven okay so these three are there okay so every time so I know uh, here what I'll do I'll click on this okay and uh, the same thing i'll follow so always click on this customer okay you put the cursor here put this customer here and now you populate this so i think there was thousand six probably and there was a thousand eleven and i think that's it and you click this you click on this and then you just hit these buttons one two three that's it done now what you do is i'll take this out suppose i want to see the payment of all the customers see if you can see uh so i'll just click on one okay and i'll execute and here it's all my thing so instead of uh so going through you know different places going through our excel and all those things and the greatest thing you know you can see here it, it has all the list you have the name and all those things you can think of so the chances of making mistakes is much less so this way you know you can save a lot of time you can concentrate on the real stuff rather than maintaining excel and other stuff uh, so this is this is everything uh, that i was talking about so stay tuned and stay safe wash your hands uh, spend your time with the family and happy sap learning uh, stay tuned to my channel and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I tend to add at least two videos per day. Uh, thank you and have a great day.